their cold process soap. The soap I'm making for you today is part of a soaping collaboration of over 40, if not 40, it's like 38 or 40 soapers. All of the um, soapers that are participating in this collaboration are going to be listed in the, in the description box below. But I am so honored to be a part of this beautiful, wonderful soaping community that embraces everyone and that's everyone is so supportive and so kind. And I'm so happy to be a part of this collaboration. So it's the summer, summer uh, soapers collaboration and there are two criteria that your soap needs to have. One, yellow needs to be incorporated into the overall design. And two, we need to have some sort of botanical included on the soap. So, um, I am going to be making today raspberry lemonade, which is a beautiful fragrance. It's, you know, a staple summer drink. If you, my kid, my, my daughter's playing with my husband upstairs, so please don't mind the um, extra noise they're playing. Um, anyway, this is a beautiful staple summer um, drink, and you know, I love the fragrance. It's sweet and tart. Um, and then the botanical I'm going to use are poppy seeds. So I'm going to incorporate the poppy seeds on the inside of the soap and also on the top. Um, the it'll give the soap a really really good exfoliating feature but then it's also really really pretty um, dark um, black speckles in the soap the colors I'm gonna be using today are taxi cab from Mad Micah's and electric bubblegum um, one of my favorite pinks from Brambleberry and I don't know if I'm gonna be doing I think I'm gonna do a hanger swirl with this um, I was going to do a drop swirl. We'll just see how it goes, how I feel about the whole thing um, once I'm to the pouring stage. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and mix. My oils are a little cool. Uh, some of the solid oils have, um, or the hard oils have solidified at the bottom. So I'm going to give this a really good buzz, a quick mix. I have some additives in here, which are colloidal oatmeal and white kale and clay. And I'm going to add my milks, which are coconut and goat. Okay, and then um, once I combine all that um, really well, I'll go ahead and add my lye solution, which is aloe, tessa silk, and sodium lactate. So, I will go ahead and get started. Oh, well, first I got to plug in my, plug in my stick blender. <laughs> okay, now I'll go ahead and get started. just brought this up to an emulsion that is where the fats which are the oils and the water and with the lye uh, just combine to where they don't separate so um, it's not at a trace it is at an emulsion and I want to do this because I always stick blend one more time once my um, colors are uh, in there so I'll go ahead and split these off into my colors. The main will be yellow and then the accent colors will be pink and white and the white will have the, the um, poppy seeds. Okay, there we go. 
I think that looks good. So the white will be the titanium dioxide. Say hi, Joe. Hola. That's my son. He's graduating from high school this what in like next week, right? No, I'm not English. Yeah, right. He's graduating <laughs> from from um, high school next week. Two weeks. Two weeks. June six. June six. Only habla English. I speak it. What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, whoops. This one's supposed to be yellow. And I put the white in here. My, it's my son's fault. Man, that's crazy. You see how I get blamed, though? Okay, so that's okay. I'll just make this one the white. <clears throat> Obviously, I have to. This one will be the yellow. Okay. And then this one will be the pink. Okay, so I will go ahead and use this one for the white. Start mixing this yellow. just a little bit to give it a good exfoliation but we don't need to have a ton in there okay and then I will add my fragrance oil Give this a mix to make sure everything is incorporated. That there's nothing on the bottom, no um, bits of solid oil. And it's staying nice and fluid, which is what I want.
Okay, so this fragrance oil actually slows down Trace. It reverses it. <laughs> so if you wanted to do something really intricate and some intricate designs, I think this would be a good fragrance oil to use. I've used the um, Wholesale Supplies Plus. This is my first time using the Nature's Garden Raspberry Lemonade. And I'm very, very impressed. So... I will continue to get that because the price point is better. Okay, so I will start the pour. I will start with the white. And I kind of do think I think I'm going to just do a drop swirl with this. Just because it's remaining so fluid, I think that if I do a hanger swirl, it will kind of get muddy. So I will just do a drop swirl. lost but here is the top of the soap I um, just swirled it and then I added some poppy seeds as a decoration so I'm not sure what was lost I think I got lost some footage because when I came back here to do a close-up it had turned off so um, I'll know when I edit it anyway I will bring you guys back for the cut right now Hey everyone, welcome back to the Butterbean Shop. This is Megan here and I'm going to cut another soap for you. This is the soap I made yesterday. It's raspberry lemonade and I made it um, as part of a collaboration with 40 other soapers. And part of the collaboration was to um, include the color yellow 
and then also some sort of botanical. So what I chose to use as my botanical is poppy seeds. So here goes the top of the soap. I really love it. I think it's turned out really beautiful and I absolutely love this fragrance. It smells so good and perfect for summertime. So since I have poppy seeds on the top, what I'm going to do to cut it is turn it over to its side, actually this way. So it's on the bottom, poppy seeds are on the bottom and it'll prevent the drag marks from, or it will prevent the um, poppy seeds from dragging through the soap which will create unwanted lines. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will go ahead and get started. I'm joined by Sayla, my daughter. I, okay, what are the seeds? What They're are poppy seeds. What are the poppy seeds for though? They're actually for exfoliation and for decoration. Hmm. Yes. So, um, if you like this soap after you see it for the first time, so let me see, here we go. So as you can see, the poppy seeds are throughout the soap. I didn't want to kind of overwhelm the soap with a lot of poppy seeds. Um, I just wanted enough for some mild exfoliation. I absolutely love it. What do you think, Sayla? I would say I give it a 10. A 10. I, thank you, Sayla. I appreciate that. I give it a 10. It smells good, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, if you like this soap, please go ahead and click the like button. And if you want to see more, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Okay. And if you want to be notified of any time I upload content to my channel, go ahead and click the bell. Yes. And also, I have one thing. Whoever gave me that present, thank you. It was a good present. All right. It was a very good present. I like that. I love those bath bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing.